Hi guys, welcome to Bullet Gaming. Today I'll cover the second episode of my Jet Tutorials guide. And today, as I said, it's key binding. It's a tutorial about key binding. So let's go take a look. What is the best key binding for your jet? Let's go to options, key bindings, and select in jet. So, well, here we have throttle up, throttle down, your right, your left. I put it all this in WSDA as default. I changed it, as I said in the previous video, pitch down since I fly with inverted flight uh, method on spacebar so I can turn around without having to move my mouse a lot on the mouse mat. Then I don't have anything for pitch up. I don't really use it. I uh, personally think. Yeah, you can use that for a couple of maneuvers, but it's not that useful. I never, never happen to use it, let's say the truth. If I have to look down, I usually use my mouse, and it doesn't take much of a movement. Then, we have roll right and roll left. These are selected to the mouse, so uh, what happens is that when I move my mouse left and right, as is selected by default, my airplane rolls. Then. I have toggle chase camera. This is pretty important. I set this on my mouse too. So it's the middle button. The, the scroll wheel can be clicked in most of gaming mices. So what happens is that I don't have to move my finger from the spacebar if I'm dogfighting or from the D, which is the Yo key, to press the C button. This way my hands are completely steady, I don't have to move them at all, I can simply click that, clicking the my my scroll wheel. And that's that's really useful in my opinion. Then um, for free look I use uh, the right mouse button, it's by default and it's really useful. And you will see me use that a lot during my videos, but it's really useful to not have to turn around to look at the map, you can look at the map identify targets and then make a maneuver so you will have more time to get more shots on them. Obviously fire, I got it uh, set at default at, as the left mouse button. Reload, which I use a lot, R. I need just to move my finger from D to R, which is not, it doesn't take much. And usually you do that while you're not in a dogfight or shooting anything. Then switch weapon. Wait, uh, this is selected to F. I never use it for a simple reason. I prefer to do something like this. Since I can't exactly know what weapon I'm using if I'm in third person and I maybe could be with the wrong weapon, what I did was bind the select primary weapon to the axis 2Y, which is the scroll up and scroll down. So every time I scroll up, doesn't matter how many times I scroll, I always select the weapon number one, so I track, I simply scroll it up and I selected the primary weapon, the main gun. If I want the secondary one, I scroll down and that's it. It's very easy, it doesn't make me, it doesn't force me to remove my hand from the keyboard, which is really useful, because if I'm maneuvering and I need to switch weapon, for example, I can't really move my fingers from the A and D, which are the yo commands because they will make me miss a target. So in this way I have all, everything on my mouse. Fire countermeasures is usually selected by default at X. I changed it to shift for a simple reason. A shift is usually, usually used as afterburner. So what I did was selecting fire countermeasures and binding it at shift because it's really easy to, uh, to press at the same time Lee's all the other fingers free to maneuver the jet and control the speed because I just need my little finger to, to press it and even if I'm in dogfight I am free to dogfight and at the same time fire countermeasures without it affecting my ability to uh, maneuver the jet and so what I did was bind the afterburner to W so what happens now I have W for afterburner and W for throttle up and this makes things a lot easier, for one simple reason, since throttle up doesn't do anything, doesn't increase your speed while you're flying, but after burner does when you're flying, 
you need throttle up just to lift the jet from the ground. So that's it for this video. I'll come in the next days with some new jet tutorials. The next one will be about improving your accuracy. Because every one of us knows how bad it is having an enemy in front of you and not being able to shoot it down. And that's it for this video, guys. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, please rate, leave a comment or subscribe. Many other videos coming out every week. Thanks for watching.